Hello and a good day to all of you. I am Sivanesan Shanmugalingam, matrix number 067624, reporting on my review of an article entitled Cryptocurrency in Malaysia to Regulate or Not. And uh, the article was written by Muhammad Tarmizi Said, Muhammad Bahrain Ohman, and Muhammad Wasin Dini Yunus. In a nutshell, the article was a very good one. It was an eye-opener for those who don't know anything about cryptocurrency and its legal status in Malaysia. While benefits of cryptocurrency includes anonymity, its drawback is also anonymity. This is because the authorities cannot trace the origins or the destination of the cryptocurrency. This anonymity is also the reason why one argues that cryptocurrency is in its current state is just unregulatable and it is the reason why not just in Malaysia but around the world authorities are keeping a close tab on the industry. The biggest problem it gives authorities is the undetectable movement of money in all the dangerous fields like drug trafficking, smuggling, corruption, corruption of government officials, pornography, organized gangsterism, and the, wor the worst beast, the most dangerous of it all, organized terrorism. However, it is stated in my written review, unfortunately, the title of this article was, in my opinion, misleading. Reading the article, one will discover that uh, in, in reality, the cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin are just not regulatable because they have no owner and in some sense they are a living organism within the internet or more specifically in that ginormous peer-to-peer -peer network that they function in. What is regulatable is the ins and outs of the crypto when being paired with the Ringgit Malaysia. And this is why Bank Negara Malaysia and or rather Bank Negara Malaysia has classified cryptocurrency as a security or commodity and the regulators introduced by the Securities Commission is the only form of regulation available pertaining to cryptocurrency in Malaysia. So one would argue that apart from the mistake in naming the article, it was a good read, informative, full of useful knowledge of people, for people who want to know information on legitimate or authorized digital asset exchanges within Malaysia where one can be able to buy or sell cryptocurrency. Of course, legally. I would recommend this article to more readers. And uh, it will be a, it will serve a purpose as a get to know crypto in Malaysia and if the authors do stumble on my YouTube guys please lah change the title of the article anyway thanks and have a good day